So these characters, I thought I thought this show's brilliant. I've been enjoying it so much so far. But all your characters have got really nice traits. I think I think they kind of got an unwavering enthusiasm for Dick, which sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> oh, and a real no, we love Dick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and a real sense of like loyalty. They they're quite good people, aren't they? These outlaws. Yeah, I think that's the sort of fun thing about it. They are hard criminals, but you love them. Exactly. And they're trapped, you know. They're like, uh, I mean, Nell, I think, wants to be doing what she's doing it mm. and doing it to the best of her ability. Yeah. She's um, like a sort of head girl of a school. Yeah. But she's a highway woman, so and she's like, I need to be it. doing this incredibly well, but I'm still holding people up and nicking their money. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, but I think Moose feels a bit stuck, and then mm. uh, Dick liberates him, mm. and he can kind of teach him that he could be anything mm. other than just a highwayman. Yeah. I feel like honestly, he just needs a leader. Mm. I feel like he's loving every moment of it, depending on who his leader is. And at this moment, where his leader is Dick, he kind of is fully committed to um, looking after him. Which is a bit sad for Nell, because she mm. should be the leader, really. She's yeah. smart. Yeah. Yeah. Because Nell's the most capable. Yes. Because is it quite fun to play the role kind of straighter than everyone kind of around you? Because I feel Nell, that's the, I mean, that's kind of the comedic. Well, it, I didn't have to try yeah. because I was surrounded by fools. Yes. Um, <laughs> wow, and, wow, we were. So a lot of my side eye was real. real. Mm. Um, no, it is, it is really fun because I feel like that kind of sarcasm and eye rolliness and uh, it, it just sort of, yeah, it, it means that not everyone is massive and big and it doesn't get you know, you know get carried away talking to massive the big obviously greg davis is in it as well and there's so many funny people that's Greg said great uh, in this show and on set i mean but there's every kind of character and every supporting character seems to be a familiar kind of face from yeah. kind of british comedy amazing. scene amazing you'd open yeah. the door of your trailer and just mm. see this mm. sort of plethora of british comedy yeah. every morning and be super excited it must have made it quite a fun set to be around because when you're surrounded by that many funny people does it everyone is everyone just cracking jokes a lot Giggling, giggling, giggling. Yeah, yeah. Dolly Wells, Morgan, Morgan and some Chowdhury, Mark It's <laughs> insane because it is just someone's always got something to tell you. Joe yeah. Wilkinson's got a story about something happening. A lot of anecdotes yeah. going on in the green room. Yeah. Jeff McGiven. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of anecdotes <laughs> there. There's a book there. <laughs> and it's yeah. like when you're working with them, it's like their character's funny, but we need to remember they're actually funny people as well because mm. there's a lot of comedians. So it's like when you're on set with them and they're in their scene, you're laughing, mm. but then when they're out of character and being themselves, you're still laughing. It's almost hellish. Yeah. There's some great late night. There were a lot of night shoots because we're in the yeah. woods in the dark. Yeah. And there's some great early hours in the morning, yeah, surreal well you feel completely moments. Mad. Yeah, you've gone nuts. It's 3.40 mm. and your brain's not quite working, but people are being very, very funny. Mm. Does it ever get quite competitive when there's loads of comedians on set trying to out-fun each other? And if it was a competition, who would have won? Who was the most funny person on set? I think probably me. We left it mm. too long. <laughs> <laughs> the pause was yeah. too long. Um, no, I, I've got to say, I'm worried this sounds really sickly, but I've got to tell you it's mm. true. Whoever is truly in charge of putting mm. this bigger crew together, it's generally a lot of kind people mm. yeah. and nice people. I'm not joking. They're, it's so lovely. There's, there wasn't any sort of... No, it, never, too felt, much, was no, it? it never felt like a um, yeah, showy-offy environment yeah. at all. It was just like, oh, it's a pleasure to be in that person's company because yeah. they are mm. a Laurel laughs. I think part of what sort of connects us to the past, makes these kind of shows interesting, is if we see sort of scenarios and people that think, oh, they're just like we were. But also, there's a lot of actions, a lot of people and things about society. It was nothing like the way we live mm -hmm. now. I just wonder if there's anything about society back then that always kind of blew your mind or you always, always makes you giggle about the way people used to live. People not really washing properly. Because that was one of the doors. So the director of Empire insisted. And you insisted, related to that part yeah, as well. insisted that we didn't wash while we mm. shot. It was very smelly, but you can't I can't see believe that. he works like that. Yeah. It's very it's strange. Very nasty. Um, uh, no, I think it, we weren't particularly uh, dedicated to being mm. era specific, I don't mm. think, were we in that way? Like there's nothing like 18th century. But no, but the sets and stuff were. Oh yeah, 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 totally. But I think that's where the joy of the mm. show lies, is you're seeing modern life represented through this weird 18th century gaze, which allows you to then reflect on yeah. what we're doing now and thinking, oh, that's a bit peculiar. I love the clothes. I wish mm. that we all dressed like we did in the past. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you guys were alive back then, what what would you? Because everyone seems, you know, would you be an outlaw or those weird kind of goblin queen people? Queen for me. Yeah, queen. Yeah. I think I'd be a cage dancer. Cage dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be. I don't even know if this is a thing, but like just 
a lone wolf, I think I'll just be kind of just in my own. <laughs> Sorry, it is a thing. Yeah. 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 We just checked that 18th century lone wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do exist. I think, I think I'll just be in my own world, just getting on with life. Yeah. Um, so just very finally, for like, I just wondered if there's kind of plans for launch like because obviously you know when you know when you get sort of big films, people go to the kind of premieres and get all their kind of friends and family. But when there's a show coming on a kind of streaming network, what do you do on kind of? I go into it, hiding. Yeah, yeah. The three of us are just going work around the way for a week. Oh, well, this and lone wolf's watching on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Lone wolf's <laughs> going to be in a separate tent. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what, uh, no, just enjoy, mm. I suppose, I suppose it's quite exciting. It's streaming now, though, mm. isn't it? Because yeah. you don't, it's not like a time and a place. No, although I think it's quite inspired that Apple um, Plus are putting this out weekly. They're mm. dropping it weekly, which feels Apple like TV Apple Plus. TV Plus. I think it's really exciting <laughs> that Apple TV Plus are putting this out weekly because their feels, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You read the notes, didn't you? No, <laughs> they're going to be starting out weekly. Two episodes, two episodes first, first, and then weekly, and then, mm, which oh. I think is quite inspiring because it feels week. old school. Yeah. No, two episodes a week. And then one a week. They're putting two out at the top, <laughs> and then it's going Who's one that again? Week. Apple TV Plus. Right? Apple yeah. TV yeah. Plus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey yeah. You Guys! <laughs> hey You Guys! Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys!